Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans and today I want to show you the grab feature. This allows you to take any single frame from any of your video sources and turn those into stills to use within your production. Let's dive in and take a look. Okay, so here we are in the TC1 interface and let me show you how to set up your screen grabs. So over here in the top right portion of our screen there's going to be the word grab here and this little gear icon next to it. And from here this allows you to type in the title in which these grabs are going to be called. So I'm just going to type in screen grab. And beneath that is an option for choosing which source you want to take a grab from. What's cool about this is you can choose multiple inputs coming into the TriCaster. So I'm going to go ahead and select my Mix 1, also my ME1, which is me here on my virtual set, and also my program. So now I have three different grabs that I'll be taking all simultaneously. Beneath that is an area for me to add comments, because if you're going to be adding a bunch of different grabs in here, if you want to just go through and customize them, that's a good place to put those messages. And beneath that, if you put a checkbox next to Add Grabs To, you can then add your grabs and directly deposit them into any of your media bins. So I'm going to go ahead and select my uh, Graphics 1 and Graphics 2 bins, but you can also send these to your buffers or even to your export media function. So within your broadcast, you can then export that media directly to a network attached storage or to a USB drive, you name it. And then all you have to do to take a screen grab is to go up to the top of your screen here, right where it says grab, ah! and then just take that grab function. So now you'll see over in our graphics one and graphics two bin, I have all three of these sources uh, as part of my uh, grabs. And you'll see that they're all titled exactly from where we grabbed them from. So my ME1, also from my program row as well. And let's go ahead and bring that on screen. And nice little scare cam going on here. Now, if you like this tutorial but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com slash demo to sign up for a personalized demonstration by yours truly. And I'll show you more of the ins and outs of the TriCaster system. Also, if you're on Instagram, be sure to follow us and tag us at New Tech Inc. We love to see how people are using TriCasters in their productions. And one more thing, if you want some more tutorial videos or customer testimonials, check us out at youtube.com slash New Tech Inc. Until then, thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.